Boom! We are here, man. Day 10, challenge 10. I am so proud of you. Remember, we are building momentum bit by bit. Every time you accomplish a challenge, every time you do a mission, you are telling your brain, I am a fucking boss. I am a fucking winner. Every single time. You are telling your brain, I am unstoppable. Whatever I want to do, I will accomplish. It is only a matter of time. It is when I will accomplish. Not if, but when. That is how you should feel every time you do a challenge. It feels good, right? But we are not done. There is one more to do. Let's crush this challenge and make it our bitch. So you must be wondering why I'm here near a shower. Listen, man, environment is everything. If you are around winners, if you are around positive people, if you're around people who crush it, you will become someone who crushes it. But the opposite is also true. However, if you spend time around losers, people who play video games and smoke weed all day and do nothing, eat crap food, then even if you hate that stuff, even if you're not into that stuff, just because you are in that environment, you will become a loser too. But you are here right now in challenge number 10 and you are not one of those people. Now, if you are, who am I to judge? Go to whatever the hell you want. But I don't think you're one of those people. Get away from the losers and surround yourself with the winners. Now look, I have my own definition of what a winner is. You have your own definition. Whatever that definition is, surround yourself with those people. Listen man, when I wanted to get better at dating, I had to go to the winner, which is RSD in Las Vegas, and I spent a year there, and those guys were really good at dating and fucking hot women, so I became good at that too. Next, to improve my body, I went to the next winner, Elliot Hulse and Strength Camp, and I surrounded myself with those winners. And guess what? I got in the best shape of my life. Your environment is fucking crucial, man. Do not take this lightly. Be an environment surrounded by winners and you will become a winner. But what does this have to do with the shower? Great question. Let me tell you. The environment that you're in, even if it's toxic, your brain will want to keep you there because it's safe. It's consistent. You can predict what happens the next day, the next second, the next hour, even if it's bad for you. That is the brain trick you need to get rid of and get out of. This is why people stay in these environments that are bad for them. It is so hard to leave, man. I know, I understand, I'm here for you. Listen, man, it was hard. When I first moved from Montreal to Las Vegas, it was so hard for me. A consistent environment, doing my PhD, doing the experiments, doing the analysis, and then moving into complete opposite chaos was so tough, bro. But you know what? I embraced the chaos. I actually ran towards it, and it was the best decision of my life. I wouldn't be here in front of you if I didn't take that important decision in my life. And you know what? Time after time, I have run after that chaos and embraced it. And these are the best decisions I've ever made in my life. It is now time for you to embrace the chaos. Stop choosing comfortable. Stop choosing consistent. Stop choosing stable. It is time for you to get into chaos. Allow for that chaos to come in. That is what will give you the strength to leave those toxic environments you're in. You know, some of my favorite authors like Nassim Taleb and Jordan Peterson talk about this stuff all the time. Listen, man, I fucking respect these guys because they know what they're talking about. You need to create chaos in your environment. You don't necessarily have to go towards it. And that is what we're about to do now. So it is time for you to do your final challenge. Take an ice cold fucking shower. I'm gonna do it right now in front of you and show you how it's done.
It's the coldest setting you can get, and it's fucking cold.